Once again, the streets of our country were taken over today by people who don't belong here. But when the immigrants come, they come with a culture of criminality. It's out of control. They put a strain on our social security, our education, our health care. They never teach us in school that the huge Latino presence here is a direct result of our own government's actions in Mexico, the Caribbean, and Central America over many decades. Thousands upon thousands of Puerto Ricans were actually recruited to come work here in the United States. The feeling was we could very easily overthrow this progressive government and make it a lot easier for the United Fruit Company and other American businesses to operate in Central America. From the very beginning, the West depended for its labor on Mexicans. Are you a communist, Fidel? Yeah. Wait for the history. The history will say what we are. I had never seen anything like El Salvador. I was more frightened there than Vietnam. What was going on there was the slaughter of the innocents. When you finance and train a gang of uniformed butchers and they begin wholesale killing, the people don't emigrate, they flee. The instability that we have contributed to creates the kind of chaos and disarray that leads to more immigration. I believe in the idea of amnesty for those who have put down roots even though they may have entered illegally. The reality is that America is changing. By the end of this century, a majority of the people will trace their origins not to Europe, but to Latin America. We're all humans, we all have the same abilities, we all have the same potential. America has always been a nation in the process of becoming, in process of change. It is an immigrant nation.